We've just finished grinding our masa and it's ready to be mixed. Mixing is actually something a lot of folks tend to overlook as not very important. They tend to do like a quick knead on the table. That's fine. Some kind of mixing is really important. It's definitely something you want to do ideally with a machine that's going to get you about five minutes of a consistent, even spin. This step is most crucial for texture control. So it's really the last stage before you're going to start pressing and cooking your tortilla. Between the time of beginning our grind and finishing it, you have some difference and nuance between you know, the beginning and the end or the heads and the tails. This is just making sure that both of those ends of the spectrum and everything in between are really well incorporated and evenly distributed. So you're not getting pockets of one kind of texture and pockets of another. It's just one clean, consistent, finished product. What you're going to be looking for is making sure that the masa is sufficiently wet. So you know maybe over the course of the last half hour as you're grinding the corn or grinding the nixtamal, it's going to get a little bit drier. You want to rehydrate that masa. In the case that it's too wet, um, you can actually add a little bit of masa harina to the masa to make sure that it's a little bit drier and balancing out that kind of that excess moisture. So this is a really simple step to make sure that you're controlling the texture and some other fun things. I mean, this is also where you can introduce seasoning. We're going for a kind of a more traditional Oaxacan style tortilla, which doesn't have seasoning. But I mean, I love salt, adding a little bit of salt, maybe between 0.25 and 1% of the weight to the masa. Um, that's usually kind of a good range to work with um, if you're gonna add seasoning. You can also add things like coloring if you wanna do cilantro juice or beet juice. And if you were working in the industry, you know, and you wanted to add preservatives or gums to it, you could do that here. I mean, this is typically where it's done. It's really up to you, but this is kind of that last step before you, you know, the moment of truth happens where we cook a tortilla and it either puffs or it doesn't. So I've got my moss in here. I'm gonna lock it into a stand-up mixer. All right, uh, make sure it's engaged. I'm gonna slowly turn it on and gradually add a little bit of water. My moss has started to dry out just a little bit. It's kind of starting to get a little flaky, a little crummy. So I wanna make sure it's a little bit moist to touch. So now that it's mixing, I'm gonna let this go for about five minutes. The idea is that we're gonna incorporate some of those finer bits with the coarser bits and just make sure everything is uniform. Um, you need about at least five minutes to make sure that it's properly blended. Um, and I'm just gonna let this sit now that I have enough moisture in the pot. 